Hello everyone, welcome back to another video from Somos Biology. We are discussing about different complicated life science topics in very simplified manner with mnemonics. And this video is another mnemonic video on survivorship curve. Survivorship curve and we know that survivorship curve gives us idea regarding the survivability of an organism from starting of their age to different age of their life. What is the percentage survival of an organism at different point of their life, right? That is what is survivorship curve is. And a survivorship curve can be divided into three different types, type 1, type 2 and the type 3 survivorship curves. Now, these three separate survivorship curve that we know, type 1, type 2 and type 3. Among these three curves, uh, particularly more important ones are the type 1 and type 3 because they are kind of, type kind of opposite. The organisms they follow their survivorship pattern of type 1 or type 3 are kind of opposite to each other. Now, how to remember the survivorship curves? I am not going to draw the graph and everything. But I can tell you the difference between type 1 and type 2 here, uh, uh, type 3 here, I will write down. Uh, first thing that I will write, late, late loss, high and then I will write K. This is the first mnemonic, first sentence, uh, okay. And the second one is early loss, low R. So these are the two things that I need to mention. These are the two things that you need to remember in order to understand the type 1 and type 3 survivorship curve quite easily. Late loss, high and then K. This is example of type 1 survivorship curve. Early loss, low R is an example of type 3 survivorship curve or individuals belonging to type 3 survivorship curve. So, late loss means what? Late loss of organisms, early loss of offsprings. So, offsprings loss means once after the birth, when the offspring will die more often or less often. So, in this first case, it is late loss. Type 1 survivorship curve stated that the offspring that right after the birth, there is a high chance that it will survive. And that is logical. If I give you example, human, us. It's very rare that children will die rather than a person with 75 plus years old or 80 plus years old will die, right? As we grow older, the chance of death increases, right? That is late loss, that is belonging to type 1 survivorship. Well, early loss belonging to type 3 survivorship organisms where the, 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 the lower the age, the chance of death is higher. And why the chance of death is higher? Because they are easily being eaten up by predators or by killed somehow. Okay. For example, if we go with, uh, again, uh, if I give you an example, cockroach is a given uh, example. Belonging to type 3 survivorship curve. It will not survive because at the very young age, it, it is very prone to death. Many fish species prone to death at the very beginning. They are small. That's why they lay too much eggs. At, at a time. When they lay too many eggs, they hatch into small fish but most of them are killed, most of them are eaten up. Okay. That is early loss. Now if I go to this high, high for what? HIGH if you see high. High parental care. The second parameter is parental care. The parental care received by human is huge. That is the reason most of the uh, offspring at low age will survive because they are being covered by the parental care. They receive parental care. Where the parental care received by uh, individuals here is low, low, low parental care. The parental care is low for type 3 survivorship curve individual. And then K is what kind of species it is? K selected species. This is R selected species. So, the type 1 survivorship curve individuals, they belong to K selected species because they produce less offspring, but they reproduce multiple times. Their offspring size is more, bigger, and they reach maximum age to their life due to the parental care. Okay. And also, so they, they are, their population is governed by the case selection. 
Well, the type 3 survivorship of individuals, their population is governed by R. R is the net reproductive rate. So, we generally say that their, their uh, reproduction, they belong, uh, they utilize faster reproduction, okay, to produce many number of offsprings. They reach their reproductive age quite early in their life. They follow R selected pattern. So, R selected pattern comes with type 3 survivorship curve, K selected pattern comes to type 1 survivorship curve. And if you look at the curve, type 1 looks something like this, right? Type 3 something like this and type 2 something like this. This is type 2. So, if type 2 is remaining, type 2 has a constant death rate. So, if I last uh, talk about type 2 survivorship curve, constant death rate So, at any given point of their age, the chance of their death is equal, constant. That is type 2 survivorship curve. Constant death rate is achieved. Because most of the time, these organisms belonging to type 2 survivorship curve are prey. So, the predators will always catch them and eat them. There is no such uh, changes in their graph pattern. Straight line is for type 2. Okay? This is for type 1. This is for type 2. 3 and this x axis age different point of their age and this is number of individuals surviving okay this is the survivorship curve so i believe you have a clear idea now regarding the type 1 type 2 and type 3 survivorship curve okay so if you like this video please hit the like button share this video with your friends subscribe to get more videos like that in future thank you bye